Welcome to Headline News 24-7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump breaks silence, reveals real reason why he called off Iran's strike. Not that President Trump's foes will ever give him credit for anything, but he called off a military strike on Iran as retaliation for the terrorist regime shooting down a U.S. drone and then bragging about it. With tensions running high and the very real potential of a military conflict with the rogue state, the leader of the free world had authorized a retaliatory action and then done the humane thing by putting it on hold out of concern for civilians who may have been killed. According to Trump, we were cocked and loaded, but when one of the generals advised him that there was a possibility that it could cost 150 lives, he stopped it, a mere 10 minutes before it was about to take place. In a series of Friday morning tweets, the POTUS provided the reason why he had spared Iran, at least for time being, and despite the howls of Democrats, showed that he is a humane man who places a high value on human lives, as well as views military action as a last resort. He also pointed out the ingratitude of the Islamic Republic after former President Barack Obama sold out America and Israel by bribing the Mad Mullahs to claim that they had shut down their pursuit of nuclear weapons in order to burnish his precious legacy. President Trump on Friday confirmed that the U.S. military was cocked and loaded to retaliate against Iran after the country shot down a U.S. surveillance drone, but backed off last minute. In a series of tweets, the Trump said he opted not to follow through because he felt the response was not to be proportionate to the Iranian action. The president said he just learned 10 minutes before the strike that 150 Iranians would die and decided to call off the mission. We were cocked and loaded to retaliate last night on three different sites when I asked how many people will die. 150 people, sir, was the answer. From a general 10 minutes before the strike, I stopped it. Not proportionate to shooting down an unmanned drone, Trump tweeted. The president reserved the right to strike at a later time, stating that he is in no hurry, which may or may not serve as a deterrent to future terrorist actions. It also deprived the Iranians of using any civilian deaths as propaganda that would have been quickly seized upon by the likes of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omar to trash Trump and blame America. The Iranian regime's downing of the drone over international waters was a follow-up to attacks on two oil tankers near the Strait of Hormuz last week. It seems as though the terror state's government looks to take advantage of political unrest in the U.S., thanks to the unhinged race-baiting Democrats and their whipping up of animosity against Trump in the hope that they can prevent his re-election. Trump's enemies at home have clearly chosen sides with Iran against their own country, with frontrunner Joe Biden even going so far as to suggest that striking back would serve as grounds for impeachment. Other than being a cowardly and craven piece of political grandstanding, it's the same attitude of coddling extremists who hate America that was the official policy of the Obama administration when he worked there. Had Obama not regularly acted as a footstool for Iran's supreme leader, then they would likely not be as emboldened as they are today. And to his credit, President Trump is working to change things with peace through strength. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.